Thank you, Cheer and Musty. Let's give them a big round of applause. It's a great day to be a Mustang, isn't it? Well, I'm Jeff Armstrong, and it's exciting to welcome you here for a great day for Mustang Athletics. Cal Poly is committed to Mustang Athletics and fielding outstanding programs. This is about diplomas and championships. We all believe men's basketball can and will rise to the level of success that so many of our programs are currently enjoying. So to be sure, we're in it to win it, and we're in it for the long haul. We're in it to win it, and we're in it for the long haul. At Cal Poly, we have high expectations, both academically and athletically, for our student athletes. As I mentioned, we hope that every student athlete at graduation has a championship ring on their finger walking across that stage. We're doing pretty well in that endeavor at present, as we're at top of the Big West Commissioner's Cup, and our student athletes have a 92% graduation rate. That's worth a round of applause. I couldn't be more proud of those successes, and I couldn't be more proud of the people that I'm looking around and see in the room, and including Don, who work really hard to make sure that that happens. The behind the scenes working and coaching, academically, athletically, making sure they're fit, making sure their nutrition's right, taping, I could go on and on. I also wanna thank our donors and supporters who provide that extra umph, provide that extra encouragement, that cheer, and yes, the funding that helps us really move forward. I'm really proud of the process that we undertook to get to this point in leading us to our coach. Uh, when Don, Keith, and I started talking about what was next when we needed to move forward, uh, we engaged a lot of our alumni, our supporters, John Ronca, who leads the Athletic Council, and it led us to the same place that we, we needed to bring someone in with extensive experience who had been there, done that, who had been a coach, and I'm very excited uh, where we are today. And I appreciate our athletic director, Don, as he received a lot of input, and he and Jackson and others really put in a lot of miles and searched and searched and searched. He was away a lot, Dee Dee, I know. But next, I'd like to introduce our athletic director, Don Oberhelman, to present to you our new men's basketball coach. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our new head men's basketball coach, Mike DeGeorge. Uh, a couple of quick thank yous. Uh, I'd like to thank our athletic staff for their patience as we went through this process. President Armstrong, thanks to you. Uh, thanks to our vice presidents, Keith Humphrey and Terrence Harris for their leadership throughout this. And, and Jeff mentioned a couple of our very loyal supporters uh, that really helped us and I wanna thank them right now. Uh, this includes Mike Larrabee, Mike Wozniak, Mike Chelson, and our Athletic Director Council, John Ronka. Thank you guys for your help through this process. A uh, quick housekeeping issue on a fun note, Coach DeGeorge is gonna be at Firestone Grill tonight from 5.30 to seven. Uh, he's not buying beer, to be clear, nor am I. Uh, uh, greeting all our supporters, everybody's welcome. It's open to the public. Hope to see everybody down there tonight. Uh, we'll be inside and out of the rain. Uh, I'm excited to welcome Coach DeGeorge and his family into the Mustang family. Uh, and I'd, I'd like to ask Mike's wife to stand up and be recognized so everybody can meet Christy DeGeorge. So real quick, we had an incredible candidate pool, an incredible amount of interest uh, in this opening. And the more we went through the process, the more the name Mike DeGeorge just stayed at the top of that list. And the more he revealed himself to be the best fit for Cal Poly uh, in our athletic department. Coach DeGeorge has a proven track record of 24 years as a head coach, building programs and turning them into consistent winners. And this is the experience we needed at Cal Poly at this time. Uh, with Jackson's help and others in our department, we did a mountain of research on candidates, and this included, includes Coach DeGeorge's leadership and coaching style, the track record that I mentioned in terms of how he's built winners, 
a more unique style of play that is unfamiliar to our counterparts in the Big West Conference, which we're all excited about. His team this past season was ranked in the top 10 for almost the entire season, ranked first in effective field goal percentage, third in three-pointers, averaging 86 points a game. And on behalf of our university, we're so excited to welcome you, and we're so excited to get started. Please welcome our new head coach, Mike DeGeorge. All right. Well, thank you. This is great to have everybody here. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity and looking forward to getting started. First, I would like to thank President Armstrong and uh, Athletic Director Don Overhelman and everybody who's involved in the process. It really was the people that made the process, uh, you know, really interesting to me as I got further and further along. And it was just incredible opportunity, all the people that met and just the quality of individuals here. Uh, really put me over the top in terms of uh, my interest in the position. So uh, I'd also just like to thank my wife, Christy, and we do have four kids. Uh, three of them are in college currently. Uh, one is in high school, and so the family will be moving out uh, this summer, and, uh, and we're just looking forward to getting started and get to work. Um, then philosophically, just a few thoughts, just kind of wanted to share a few things um, and, and sort of resonate the, the importance of the connection from my philosophy that, uh, that resonates here at Cal Poly. Number one is we have, well, we really just have two goals in our basketball program, and that is to pursue excellence at all of our commitments. And obviously that fits really well uh, with the um, academic mission at Cal Poly. And so we really want to embrace the identity of being an academic first place. And that is a big part of my background. We've had, our teams have had great GPAs at Cardo Mesa. And prior to that, I was at really high academic schools and have recruited high academic student athletes uh, for my entire career. And uh, my father was a college football coach and he was in a high academic environment as well. And so just as a little kid growing up, you know, he'd be making recruiting calls and he just really valued uh, that balance between that academic and that athletic experience. And so that's been a big part of it. So our guys are gonna be committed to excellence to all of their commitments. So their families, their academics, and having guys that are really committed to being the best version of themselves on the basketball floor. And then we also just want to build trust in all our relationships. And so it's the centerpiece of what we do, uh, whether, and it's going to take all of us, quite frankly. Uh, this isn't going to get done by one guy. You just don't get to hand over uh, the opportunity and then we're done. It's going to take everybody in this room and everybody in the community uh, to really get on board and support us in a way and, and be connected where it's a big deal to be part of the men's basketball program at Cal Poly and they feel supported and they have opportunities uh, both in the classroom, on the court, and in the community to really grow and be the best version of themselves. And we get those opportunities to build trusting relationships uh, you know, throughout the program. So really excited to get integrated in the community and be a big part of all of that. And then uh, again, just the identity piece is so important to us. And, and one of the things will be very clear, I've been doing this a long time, and it doesn't matter the level, okay? You gotta get your group committed to the right things. And so we're gonna get guys that are committed to, to being great students. We're gonna have a very clear identity in terms of what we do offensively. We're gonna have a very clear identity in terms of what we do defensively and what the expectations are uh, throughout their time here. And with that, like-minded people are drawn to each other. And what I've had over the course of my career as I've been able to draw great assistants who uh, do the bulk of the work, if I'm being honest, okay? And, uh, and I've been able to attract great players because they are drawn to the environment that we created. And so I'm very excited about that, but I do think this identity of Cal Poly really fits with my personal philosophy. And so I'm just really excited about being able to, to sell Cal Poly and the wonderful education, uh, the beautiful campus, the incredible community uh, is just an ideal setting for me to operate in. Uh, a lot has been made of our scheme and our offense, okay? And Cal Boucher's here today. He'll be one of our assistants. He's kind of the architect of our offense. Uh, 
and uh, we're really excited that he's chosen to come with and uh, and be here. And uh, but I'm going to start with defense because I'm a defensive first guy. And so each of the four schools where I've been a head coach, statistically, at least one of those teams is the best defensive team in the history of the institution. And uh, so it's at the core of what we believe is you got to be able to defend. And we are a pack line team. So that means that we're going to keep the ball out of the paint defensively. We're doing everything we can to do that. But we've also understand athletics and we've really embraced uh, how the game has changed uh, as math has gotten involved with basketball, it's really changed the game. And so we do, we would be kind of a hybrid system because we really now do a great job of taking away the threes and taking away layups. And, uh, and then at the opposite end, offense, we're just about the exact opposite. We're only shooting uh, layups, dunks, and threes uh, for the most part. When you look at our shot chart, there's a huge arc around the three-point line. There's a giant cluster right at the rim and it should be very few shots uh, elsewhere. And, uh, and that's, that's the goal, and it's been very effective for us. And so just to add a little bit to what Don said before to understand the offense, first of all, uh, all the analytics indicate that if you're playing fast, the best shots available on a 30-second shot clock come in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock. And that's at every level uh, that you're at, it pretty much runs across the board. And so last year, we shot 47% of our shots in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock. But we're committed to getting the ball to the paint. So the paint owns – whoever wins the paint wins basketball. It's like running the trenches in football. And so, uh, you know, defensively, we're going to keep it out of the paint. Offensively, uh, we're going to find our way there. And if the defense rotates, we're going to spray it out for a three. If the defense doesn't rotate, uh, we're going to finish uh, the layups. And we led the nation in two-point field goal percentage last year, but we shot the least, least amount of twos in the country. And um, so we were kind of an average shooting three-point team. But if you factor in the fact that you shoot 36% on threes, but the volume that we shoot, we ended up being one of the top offensive teams uh, in the nation. And I do think that translates well. I think the three-point shot can be a great equalizer, and you can get great shooting, and we can free guys up to be a, a comfortable and free to shoot. And that is one of the obstacles. I told the team this morning when we met that uh, – you know, you got to be okay with missing. And that's one of the things you get high achieving guys. You know, you got guys that are playing division one athletics and are good enough students to get into a place like this. Okay. They're high achievers and they don't want to make mistakes. And one of the things you got to be okay with is the fact that it's not going to go perfect. We're going to miss probably 65% of our shots. We're only making 35%. And that is a psychological hurdle people have to get past. And we have to free them up so they're comfortable letting it fly. And I will tell you that early in the year, when you come to some of the games, there'll be a few shots where you're like, I'm not sure about that one. But you got to free them up and let them, uh, let them let it fly. So they have to be confident. They have to be comfortable on the floor. Uh, my least favorite thing on the basketball floor when we're playing is when guys are looking over at me to see my reaction after they made a mistake. They got to be able to play through it. We'll work on the mistakes in practice and on film sessions. But we got to get them comfortable being on the floor, being able to compete in the moment, and ultimately everything we work for is their decision making on the floor. And so uh, we're excited about the group that's uh, returning. They've been working really hard these last couple of days. They got a great attitude, and we're excited to put some pieces around them uh, to help them have success on the floor. Um, and then uh, finally, you know, I'm just a big growth mindset guy. So my whole thing is just about how can we just get a little bit better today? Let's just get a little bit better today. And the way I view my job and our process is I just need to, I'm going to, there are hundreds of decisions a day that you have to make and you just got to get most of those decisions right. And if you get most of those decisions right, you're going to get a little better each day. And before you know it, you've made a lot of progress. And I've taken over, every program I've taken over uh, was in a situation where, you know, there was not a lot of hope. Um, there was not a lot of hope. And so um, you just have to build it day by day. And before you know it, a lot of great things have happened. And, uh, you know, expectations are really unimportant to me, okay? It's more about us, the process that you go through. We have a proven system. We know how to coach the game. We know how to connect with people and build relationships. And if you do that, all of it comes together and you just got to stay the course. And we're really excited about that journey. So thank you very much. Appreciate uh, everybody's coming today.